In the summer of 2010, I paid a visit to the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. In Urdu, Pakistan literally means the land of pure. In the area twice as large as Japan, over 160 million people live. Since the country's independence in 1947, Pakistan has faced with various challenges caused by unstable internal and external conditions and changing economic situations. Recently, frequent natural disasters have also posed a major threat to the nation building of Pakistan. With support of the international community, Pakistani people are working hard towards the achievement of peace and stability, a common goal for all. UNDP is established in Pakistan in 1954 and currently implementing over 40 projects. It has its share of challenges like many other developing countries. Mm -hmm. A country of this size, a country of uh, such geopolitical uh, importance. So what you have heard uh, from governance to environment to poverty mm -hmm. to uh, emergencies, disasters, climate, etc. Uh, these are all, of course, uh, challenges. Due to historical backgrounds, Pakistan hosts a large number of Afghan refugees in the country. UNDP is supporting socio-economic development in 30 selected districts impacted by the presence of Afghans. I visited one of such districts near the border with Afghanistan. This is a uh, mixed population of local and uh, host communities of Pakistan and uh, also the Afghan refugees are living there. They 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 are living there. This community is planning to pave a 1.5 kilometer road. Opposite the end of the road, 500 Afghan families live together. This is a paved road in the same district. Local residents decide which infrastructure needs to be constructed. UNDP supports the consultative process and construction work led by local people. I heard that this world supports the livelihood of 3,000 families. There is a school for these children at the end of this brand new road. One of the challenges Pakistan faces is to cope with continuing natural disasters. The 7.6 magnitude earthquake in October 2005 was unspeakably a tragic situation. The population affected was 1.8 million people, villages 977. Total number of houses that were damaged is 314,000, deaths over 46,000, and injuries to over 33,000 people. Uh, one of the good things that uh, we were fortunate that uh, there was no second wave of death uh, after uh, this, after that was successfully uh, averted. An increasing number of landslides also caused many casualties and posed a serious threat to people living in the mountainous areas. Because in one of the land, uh, landslides in our area we are, we are working, uh, 200 houses were lost in one landslide. That 600 people were buried alive uh, in, that, uh, in that landslide. UNDP is helping to stabilize slopes in collaboration with local governments, international organizations, and NGOs. After the earthquake hit Muzaffarabad, 
local people started to build small-scale dams to back up mudslides at 18 points. This project, implemented by UNDP with funding from the Japanese government, is contributing to protecting people's lives, at the same time creating jobs and incomes. These young men came from the neighboring province for the construction. Some of them they are outside. Who can afford, who can have the houses? While efforts are undertaken to reduce the threat of natural disasters, the impacts on the people who lost livelihoods and families will stay in their minds for long. It is not easy for people who lost house and family to reconstruct their lives again. This is the Women Development and Social Welfare Center established by UNDP after the earthquake. In the center, children who lost their parents live together and receive psychological treatments. When is the best time of the day? I asked. Bed game? Football. 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 I also realized that the center provides children not only a safe place, but also visions for their future. A boy expressed his dream to be a doctor. The center also provides vocational trainings for women who lost their husbands in the earthquake and support that they can live independently. Handcrafts made by females at the center. Every effort is a step to rebuild their lives. I felt that continuing efforts by ordinary people and collective works to build peace and stability are necessary for Pakistan to develop independently. UNDP also promotes organizations of community citizens' boards and their development projects at the grassroots level. This new citizen community board decided to establish a vocational training center for women in 2005. The center, built in a village with a population of 5,500 people, provides training for 19 women on sewing, embroidery, and a fabric every year. Those women mastered sewing through vocational training are now able to make clothes on their own, reduce expenditures, and increase savings. I also heard that some women are even making incomes through selling their clothes at the marketplaces. I made a donation to this vocational center, hoping more women gain the opportunities to learn skills and become economically and socially independent. Pakistan, a land of pure. Pakistani people are living every moment to cope with various challenges, such as natural disasters and unstable situations. I hope Pakistani people continue to work to build a safe and peaceful country for themselves. In July 2010, Pakistan was hit by a major unprecedented floods. It is said about 20% of land were flooded and people are faced to live in hard life again. I truly hope international community get together and provide continuing supports to Pakistan. <laughs>